plans. Uh, I had known for a while. I just didn't know how I wanted to do it, but I think yeah, fall camp is when I kind of decided, you know, how and when. Have y'all set a date? Have not. Have not. We're still still talking about it. Does it feel good to finally be the one getting getting the attention at this point? Because Jordan said that you didn't get all that much, getting didn't get near as much attention as she did after it happened. Oh no, yeah, she. Uh, she really blew up, especially on Instagram. I think a bunch of you know girls are, are following her now. But um, I'm happy for her because she, because I feel like I always get a lot of attention, you know, with football and whatnot. And just this whole proposal thing has kind of sprung her out there, got her name out there and whatnot. But um, you know, I just want to do something special for her because I, you know, I think she deserves it. So. Jake, instead of asking you a question, let me just tell you some advice. When it comes to wedding planning, just nod your head, say yes to everything <laughs> that she comes up with. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> we can do it. I feel like you set the bar too high now. For uh, so I've been told by uh, by many people that I have. Um, I really didn't expect it to be, you know, to turn out like it did, um, go viral and all that. But um, you know, it's crazy. I just, you know, I just want to do something special for her and end up, you know, turning into something a lot more. Colton's kind of taking some credit for helping plan this thing. Yeah. How, how was he involved in this? I got Colton's girlfriend to, well, I'll tell you the back story. I, I told her I was senior of the week, which doesn't exist. And, um, <laughs> and I told her that uh, that I can, um, be, being senior of the week, Coach Rick named senior of the week, I can take my family and friends on the field for pictures. So that was the back story. So I got Colton's girlfriend, JC, to text her and say, hey, Colton did it last year. It was so much fun. You're going to have a blast. They'll take good pictures of you. So, I mean, as we're walking to the G, there's like 10 cameras around. She still doesn't even know. She's just <laughs> like, what's going on? Why are these people here? So, I mean, I think I did a really good job of surprising her. She's pretty smart, too, so I'm, I, I'm happy I, I got surprised her. What if y'all had lost the game? You didn't there was a contingency well. plan. <laughs> <laughs> contingency plan, definitely. Uh, it would have been off. Uh, <laughs> it was done. Uh, no it, check, no check. Yeah, no, nothing. I told, her, I told her that senior of the week only happens after a win. So... If um, if we lost, then I would I guess I would have to just come up with a whole new plan. But I'm glad we won. So. Did you find yourself following lie on top of lie? To yeah, to I was just up. like, toward the end of it, I'm just like I couldn't even remember if I had emailed. You know, I had to get the ring. I had to do all this stuff, and I'm just like trying to hide it from her. And I'm terrible at that kind of stuff. I don't know how I pulled it off, but uh, I did. So. How big was the ring? It's pretty big. Um, <laughs> I uh, definitely um, the. Tina's, you know, Diamonds in downtown Athens really um, did a, you know, amazing job. I think she was just in love with it. So, did her parents know what was going on beforehand? Yeah, every, her parents, my parents, my grandparents. Um, I had pretty much everyone in on it, so it worked out good. Jordan said that you and him were joking and waiting until you were captain, and that you were gonna maybe take his captainship. What was that conversation like? Yeah, I was telling him. Um, I know it was doing after South Carolina game, and I was, uh, I was telling him like, hey man, you need to give me that C, you know. So. Uh, so I could, when the when we took the pictures, it would look even better with the C on it. But uh, <laughs> but uh, I did end up becoming a captain this week, so that's that's good. I think you led the team in tackles the other day. Mm -hmm. Was there any point during the game where you started? Yeah. Thinking about the you promotion? know I, I did a, I think I did a really good job of not thinking about it at all. Um, you know I was really focused on the game. You know I was locked in, and then I think about five minutes left in the fourth, we we're up by thirty, and they took me out, and I'm like. So I'm out of the game. I'm like, oh man, <laughs> I really got to do this. So, <laughs> you, were there nerves at that point? Oh yeah, okay. I was. Well, I was. My stomach started getting in knots. People started coming up to me, like nudging me, like, all right, man, all right. And I'm just like, so is, that, is that more nerve wracking than uh, before the game or before? Yeah, the game? I, I really don't get nervous for you know games, and because I feel like if you have a good week of practice and. When I know like all my stuff, like know all the calls and checks and stuff, I really, you know, feel real comfortable in the game and whatnot. But not knowing how everything was going to pan out, I didn't know if they, what part of the field they were going to be on and whatnot. So I started to get a little nervous. Have you already got guys campaigning to groomsmen? What? I already got guys campaigning to campaigning to groomsmen? Yeah, uh, I had a few few of my friends text me, you know, like, hey, better be, you know, better be on the wedding or you know all that stuff. So I'm sure there's going to be a lot more of that, but. Um, yeah, I mean it's it's been a whirlwind for sure. You got video. nerves like you got nerves like that. I mean, you kind of like you know how the rule in baseball the pitchers don't bother them if they know they're going. It's yeah. Kinda that way. Hey, yeah, you know, yeah. Me. I think so, but I mean, a lot of people weren't listening to that rule. I mean, they were all just coming up to me. But I mean, I'm just so glad that my team, some of my teammates, got to be there and experience that with me because um, it was special.
that video that you had uh, Chris make, how did you go about doing that? Why'd you want to do that? Yeah, you know, she's, <clears throat> I've known her forever, and um, I mean, I have probably, she's forced me to watch a thousand of those videos, <laughs> and um, I knew she wanted something like that, and uh, so I got with Chris, you know, he's done, he did that Beneath the Helmet with me, you know, for that, for the feature and whatnot, and I was like, hey man, you know, we think we could do something like that. He was like, yeah, of course, so we did a little pre-shoot, um, and then he followed me out of the locker room and he put it all together and I mean, he did a fantastic job. So I'm glad that we got that. On a sort of football. Yeah.